Rob Atkinson, I'm Deputy Divisional Inspector for Lifeboats in the West Division and today we're at uh, Marlborough Lifeboat Station on the coast of Anglesey. The RLI was founded in 1824 by Sir William Hillary and uh, we're a charity which it costs about £105 million per year to run, all from donations from the public. On average, lifeboats are called out around the UK's coast 21 times a day and this results in uh, approximately two lives per day on average being saved by a lifeboat. The lifeboats sometimes have a full-time man at one at, uh, a station. Mostly they're crewed by volunteers who will drop everything to come to your help, uh, night or day, uh, whatever the weather. We aim to cover the UK coast and respond to any incident up to 50 miles offshore within two and a half hours. Uh, the lifeboat fleet ranges from the seven class lifeboat, which costs uh, about 1.8 million pounds, 25 knot boat, uh, all weathers, um, down to the smaller inshore lifeboats such as the D-Class, um, which is crewed by three people. And the advantage of these boats, they're a lot quicker to respond and launch. The process for a lifeboat, uh, initiating a lifeboat call-out, uh, first information will usually go to the Coast Guard. Uh, the Coast Guard will then call the lifeboat operations manager for the station they feel is appropriate to respond to the incident. The lifeboat operations manager will get the basic details uh, and then will be asked to page, he will ask the Coast Guard to page the lifeboat crew to turn up at the, at the boathouse. Uh, the lifeboat operations manager will then proceed to the boathouse and uh, make a decision on the launch. With an all weather lifeboat, it launches in any weather. The decision would probably be as to whether the um, situation really needs a lifeboat um, call out. With inshore lifeboats, they are weather restricted, so sometimes it's, uh, it's more difficult for the lifeboat operations manager at an ILB station because they do have to consider the safety of the crews as well. As soon as the lifeboat is launched, uh, you will hear them checking in on the radio with uh, the Coast Guard to inform them of crew numbers, um, perhaps an ETA, just to make sure that all the position details and information the Coast Guard has passed is correct to start planning for a search. Uh, during this time we more, might also consider that the other resources might be needed. Um, if the Coast Guard hasn't already sent a helicopter we, we might ask them to send a helicopter or um, if it's an, an inshore lifeboat working in conditions on the, on the borderline they might also ask for one of the neighbouring uh, all-weather lifeboats to launch just for backup. The RLI's advice to sea kayakers would be similar to uh, other people who find themselves in trouble on the water. Firstly, try to remain calm, although things might seem desperate, uh, try to remain calm. Get your call out. Um, we would far rather be called out early and turned back rather than be called out at the last minute where the boat might have to be put into a tight situation and the crew might have to risk their lives more to actually come and save you. So get a call out and uh, don't be afraid to call out a mayday because if you do manage to um, stabilise the situation you can always downgrade it to a pan pan. Uh, also we would say stay with the boat. Um, once people get into the water uh, it's very difficult to find them. You're looking for a lot smaller target. If you stay with your kayak it provides buoyancy for you and it also uh, gives us more to find. If you do get put into the water in a group we would advise you to stay together. For well, one, you can uh, try and get yourself into a, a huddle in the water and share body heat. Uh, again, it's easier to find people when they're in a group because there's more of a target to look for. And uh, if you do have um, body lines or safety harnesses, perhaps use those to clip together. Once you actually see the lifeboat, that's the time to use your smoke flares or handheld um, flares to, to pinpoint your position. The other thing you might be asked to do by the lifeboat if you have a VHF radio, which is why we like them more than mobile phones, is to maybe make a count of 10 because on the all-weather lifeboats we have VHF direction finding equipment and that will allow us to hone in on your position.